Okay, so let's summarise the, the five priorities. Number one for me is capability. So instead of brigades, well brigades can still have 120, but we will commit to a number that you and we agree to about what the operational number is. And let's say it's 45 instead of 120. Still have 120, but 45 we will commit to giving turnout gear, urban and rural, pages, welfare support and training, if, if you like. So once we've got that number, when we get to the operational component, we're saying that of those 45, there'll be a degree of fit for duty, healthy for duty. And you've seen some of that, uh, that uh, feedback through this medium as well. We believe of, of those operational leaders, there will be some prerequisites for those officers as well within that 45. And again, you can still have beyond the 45, and this is where the community safety component is, which is number four comes in, which is about saying there may be 20 people that are not operational that are delivering other things. It could be uh, uh, fuel reduction burning, staging area management, community safety, uh, finance and admin, delivering a number of other things. And finally, and I think the big game changer is the annual brigade review, which refreshes the section 29. This is about us um, understanding what your needs are, what each individual brigade's needs are, and us tailoring our support to each individual need on the brigade. Not everybody, every brigade needs financial support, so let's find out which ones do and make sure we're tailoring that support financially to those brigades that actually need it. Not a brush that sweeps across everybody, if you like. And of course, there's that little bit, this will flow onto driver training and other such initiatives to make sure that of the 45, and I'm just using that as an arbitrary figure, that six people we need for driver training, six people we need for, or seven or eight for um, chainsaw, etc. And then we know we only have to deliver the training for those numbers. And we can do the 101 gap analysis, if you like. For mine, the five initiatives are game changers for us as an organisation and lead us towards a more contemporary, agile, um, professional, uh, quality uh, fire service in the future. Um, let's give it a go. We're piloting it across the state and we're looking to expand that now in the next 12 months. So um, I'll keep you posted as we go along the journey and keep the feedback coming because we are listening to the feedback and we'll adjust it accordingly based on the feedback we get through this forum, through our different consultative processes and so on and so forth. Five priorities um, that will probably grow um, in a number of different ways. Thank you.